Hey guys, it's Dilenka here and today I'm going to show you the ultimate gaming experience on the new ROG Phone 7 Ultimate. Okay, so let's start straight from the beginning. Let's talk about the design first. It comes in the storm white color. As far as I know, it's the only color you can get. But honestly, it just looks amazing because you're not getting this ultimate gaming phone like something you're going to look at and you're going to know, yeah, that's a gaming phone. No, actually. This looks amazing. Like honestly, if I would have to switch to Android, I would just pick this phone and no other. And why? This is why. Because it not only looks very interesting and elegant, but it is the ultimate gaming phone. Like when you look at this device, you're like, oh, it's like, it has a pretty nice white color. It shines, it has different text written on it. We're like Republic of Gamers, ROG, 07. You have this amazing display here, which we're gonna talk about later. But overall, it just looks like a high quality phone. It sits in the hand perfectly. It's a little bit taller than what I'm used to, but honestly, it's best for gaming. So there is nothing really what I could say about the design that really like catches my eye and that I would love to like give away. There is nothing like that. You get three cameras, you get the two inch back display, you get a little piece of the back which actually opens up so you can cool it better. From the front you get a 6.78 inch AMOLED display with pretty small bezels on the sides. You have speakers on both sides here because it really feels like you're having like surround sound. Not only that, you get a headphone jack and two USB-C ports. One on the bottom, like we're used to with other phones, and one on the side. So when you're actually gaming and holding the phone like this, you can charge from, from here, which is absolutely amazing because the cable is not in your way. It weighs around 239 grams, so it's nothing too light, but nothing too heavy. It's like a regular phone you would be holding in your hand. So it won't go like this is heavy or no, this feels lightweight. You get an aluminium frame and Gorilla Glass Victus on the front and the Gorilla Glass 3 on the little back here. The width of this phone is 10.3 millimeters. So again, you might think that this is a little bit thicker, but honestly, it's not. Like it is so comfortable to hold in your hand because it has curved edges. So you won't go wrong here. As a facet to the design, the design is amazing, looks beautiful, looks high quality. You get enough ports for everything you wanna do and it is not too heavy, it's not too thick. Now let's get to the wonderful box it comes in, which is honestly a real adventure on itself. It says on the front, dare to play. So do you dare to play? Open it up. What you get here is actually a game so when you put in the phone here you can actually play a game because here you have actual buttons we also get a phone case as you can see you can barely see the case because it gives you almost nothing to protect your phone to be real here all right if you're someone who's like carrying the phone with i don't know maybe your keys or some, i hope not but maybe with something that would scratch the phone i'm like this is not gonna protect you this isn't because the only thing that it gives you is another cool design with uh, some uh, cool text again. There's Republic, no, there's for those who dare and there's the ROG here and um, it's asymmetric. And why it's asymmetric, we're going to talk about it later. It covers all the edges. So if your phone was to fall down, it would protect the edges, but because it is open on this side, it wouldn't really protect it there. So um, overall, if I like this case, um, not really. I feel like it does not really do much to protect your phone. And then we come to the beast. We come to the 65 watt charger, which is going to charge your phone from zero to 145 minutes. Talk about amazing gaming experience, right? The cable is actually wrapped around in fabric. So it just looks high quality. It doesn't look like it's gonna break. Out goes a USB-C. You have the nice logo here, ROG on the back here. Next, we have a little pouch here and you might be wondering what this pouch is for. And if you've already seen this phone, then you might already know what this is for. And I've shown you the phone, so you must know that it is for the fan. So this is the cooling fan that comes with the phone. And you might be like, what? 
what the hell like why would I be carrying this big thing with me why would I stick it onto my phone it's huge honestly that's what I thought I was like um, this is just not gonna be good right like it's just gonna be loud it's not gonna cool down the phone maybe it's just for the effect like for the RGB but no it actually works and I'm honestly impressed so what do we have here it is a really easy mechanism so you just press it and when you press the other button it just comes up so you press it down you press the button and it comes up so very easy then you have four buttons here which you can actually program or map to buttons you would like to use in your games it can be a macro so you can actually record a video of what you want to do with the buttons so you can like do a movement with your fingers it it all depends on what the game is like and what the game controls are but you can map those game controls to these four programmable buttons and then it gives you the ultimate gaming experience. On the bottom here it mounts with a USB-C and you also get a headphone jack. So when we actually look at the phone, um, we take this USB-C on the side, we stick it into the fan. It is very easy to do so honestly, no worries. We press the button so it opens up and then we press it down again so it closes. The moment it is attached, the phone knows that it has the fan attached, it's gonna tell you and it's gonna start a nice animation and it's actually gonna start the fan. So when you look at it from the back, it just looks amazing. Like, oh wow. If I would be holding something like this in my hand and I would be just like having a nice phone call, you know, so my phone does not overheat, right? Whatever. So I would just be looking like this and it would be like, you're crazy, right? Am I crazy or am I crazy cool? And am I the one who dares? <laughs> That's the question. So let's come to the small display you have on the back. What do I think about this display? It's not for you, it's for the people you're looking at. <laughs> And it's for the people who are looking at you because honestly you'll never see the screen because it's on the back there is a lot of cool animations you can set up and not only that you can actually like create your own animations and you can choose from the bunch of animations that are already there it's a statement that's what I would say when you turn the phone on you can actually choose whether you want to use Android like the plain Android you know from Asus or if you want to use an ROG skin so what the ROG skin is it's basically giving your apps a nice skin so they look a little bit more gaming like when you don't have the fan on the phone is actually IP54 water resistant and why it isn't when you have the phone on that's what I'm gonna tell you right now. What actually happens when you attach the phone, this opens up so you can cool the phone better. As I was saying, I thought that when you are gonna attach the fan, it's gonna be loud. So let's have a look if it's loud. One thing in the meanwhile, I am afraid that you're gonna scratch the phone while you're attaching the, the fan. Here you have aluminium and here you have a USB-C port so that's gonna scratch. So you have to be very careful when you're putting it onto the phone. You have to really like look at where the port is if you don't want to scratch your phone. Listen to it. I'm gonna go closer to the microphone so you can actually hear it. So now you could hear the fan and you're gonna tell me in the comments if you think it is loud or if it's not. Honestly, I used it all the time while I was gaming and there was not a single time when I was like, this is like too loud. But I can see some people not liking the sound, that it is actually hearable. So let me know in the comments what you think, I don't mind. When you attach the case, you can actually see that it does not cover the top of the phone. And why? Because you have two ultrasonic buttons here on the top. And that is the most amazing feature that is on this phone besides the fan. Honestly, you know why? Because I have small hands and when the fan is attached, I cannot really reach the buttons of the fan. To me, to reach these four buttons is really, really uncomfortable because I want to have 
these two fingers on the ultrasonic button so I hold it like this and then it is pretty difficult for me to like reach these buttons I don't really know like which fingers I should use to like touch them because honestly this finger just doesn't reach there and with the small finger it is a little bit difficult to press them I know this is a thing that can be learned over time of course so it's like with and other controllers where the buttons are slightly elsewhere as you're used to and you can get used to it. So I'm not saying this is some, something bad, but I'm just saying I have small hands and I can't really reach the buttons comfortably. Now let's come to the thing that blew my mind and it is the display. It is, as I said, a 6.78 inch AMOLED display and the colors are just amazing like gaming with this phone is amazing the saturation everything games look incredible and you just browsing on the phone is just so smooth at it as it is 165 hertz brightness goes up to 1500 nits so it is very bright overall if i did not know this was a gaming phone i would be blown away by the display it is so smooth it is so beautiful the animations are extremely nice even if you're not a gamer this is an amazing phone but obviously you gotta be a gamer so that you can really appreciate the fan and everything they've done. I would suggest you go visit the ROG page about this phone because it is beautifully done and they actually explain all the thermals of the cooling fan so that you can really learn how these things work. It has a heatsink, a fan and it actually works as a subwoofer. So whenever you attach the fan to your phone, the sound gets better. And I'm telling you, the sound already is amazing but when you attach the fan you're like you're like in the game you're like in the music video you're like everywhere honestly the sound is amazing the white fall like a silver tone level it's army of hell's it's hosey day maybe one thing i should say about the fan as well is when you attach it this button on the top actually works as the lock screen button so when i press it it locks and the sound. The base model comes with 512 gigabytes of storage and 16 gigabytes of RAM. So you have plenty of space to save your games and plenty of RAM while gaming. When we come to the processor, it features the flagship Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. And when we talk about the GPU, Adreno 740. You might be wondering why I haven't talked about the camera yet. And the reason why is because it isn't that great. Don't get me wrong, it's good, but it isn't something you would be talking about. It isn't something you would be buying the phone for. So what you actually have here are three cameras. You get the 1X, you get the ultra wide, which is 0.6, and you get the 2X optical zoom. What I think about the photos, they're pretty average. I wouldn't say they're too bad. I wouldn't say they're too good. So again, if you're just a gamer, if you're not doing like content with your phone then I think that is pretty fine and you don't need anything better. The one thing that I don't really like about this is that when you use the wide lens you can actually see the fan and that is something I just don't like because when you're filming videos your phone tends to overheat especially when you're filming in 4k or even 8k which this phone is capable of so I feel like it is not really good that you can see the fan while you're filming 4K with the wide lens. But what is absolutely amazing that you can do is actually you can use the slow motion and the slow motion can go in 4K 120 frames per second. Beautiful, wonderful, my hand. The main camera is 50 megapixel, the ultrawide is 30 megapixel, and the selfie camera has 32 megapixels. I'm gonna show you some photos so you can actually see what the photos from this phone look like and decide for yourself if this is enough for your photography. Let's get to the ultimate gaming experience we all are here for. You actually have, oh damn, yeah. 
So you actually have the Armory Crate app on the phone. So when you open it up, you have like a little game studio so you can see the games which you have played. And you have various settings here. So we can actually see the temperatures of the system, of the cooling fan, of the CPU, of the GPU. You can see your storage, you can see the memory you're currently using. Then you have different modes you can set up here. So you have the X mode plus, which is best for gaming. Then you have the dynamic mode. So that one is for like daily use. And then you have ultra durable. So that's when you want to have the most power like the most battery here you have the aerojo vision and here you have the aeroactive cooler 7 so that is your cooler you're attaching and here you can see again the cooler temperature and the system temperature and you have various other settings here you can play with one thing i wanted to mention when you remove the fan or i don't have to remove it fully but I just have to like re remove the clip here. Uh, I can actually click on the ROG vision here. And when I click on the ROG vision and turn my phone into landscape mode, because that is how it works, I can see the various animations I can choose from here. So as you can see, this is the animation for the screen on, then you have an animation for when it's charging, when you're playing a game, when you have an incoming call, when the screen is on, when you have X mode turned on, and when you attach an external accessory. So these are all animations your friends can see when you're using their phone. And when you click on it, you can actually choose different animations. As you can see here, I really like this one, for example. Not only that, you can also create your own. So when we go to the end and you click on plus, you can actually import something or you can create something. So now I'm gonna show you the gaming experience. Let's go. So what is amazing about these ultrasonic buttons is that you can mount them to whatever you want. Of course, you can mount the back buttons as well. And how you do it in a game is you swipe from here down and this is the game genie. And here you can actually set up different things, but what we're gonna look into are the air triggers. Because when you open this up, you can actually see your ultrasonic buttons. And you can see where I've mapped them. So you can see that here is my L button and here is my R button. What you can do is actually you can hold it and then you can like take the button and give it anywhere you want so that it controls your game. So it's very easy to set up. Then you have the motion control and you can use it to like use tilt right, tilt left, tilt forward, tilt backward, and so on. These are the buttons on the back. And again, you can map them similarly. I could just simply create a macro and record a video of where I'm tapping on the screen or what I'm doing with my fingers and it would just create a macro and anytime you would press the button, it would just do the motion. How I use it in the game, for example, is that here we have Minecraft, so I'm just looking around, this is my crib, you know, everything nice, beautiful. And let's say I wanted to like open this chest. So I would just tap this button. Let's take, I wanted to use this turn and place it somewhere. So I could just press the button, then I could press the other button to destroy the block. Or I could just use this button to kill something. It gives you very quick reaction time when you're used to where you've mapped your buttons. I want to go swimming. Oh, well, no, it's here. OMG. Let's go swim somewhere else because this guy is going to kill me. Swim here. So what we can do, we can actually push the button on the back, for example, and just swim up. So as you can see, I've mapped the button to jump in. The other button on the back is for crouching so I can crouch. And similarly, I wanted to mention one thing that, you know, we are usually used to gaming and your screen overheats and your phone is all heated up from the back. But with the fan, actually, this does not happen. You actually feel like cool air coming from the fan and the screen does not get as hot as it used to get. And also the back does not get as hot. So actually it's very nice to game on the phone while the fan is on and I would not switch to gaming without it because it is just so convenient to have that cool air cooling your phone and so you have no worries and can game 
for hours and hours. What I wanted to say is that if you have a game which is played in vertical mode, which Mario Kart Tour isn't, you can play it both vertically but horizontally. But if you have a game which is only played vertically, it can be a little weird with the fan here because you're actually touching it like all over here. You don't have to worry about you sticking the fingers inside the fan, but just know that it is quite bulky. So it is not as convenient to hold the phone like this. Hold this button and it's gonna do like the start for you. But this is basically what you can do in Mario Kart, for example. So I'm still holding the right button. And whenever I get a box, I can actually use the left button to, to release it. So that was it. That was the ROG Phone 7 Ultimate and that was my review of it. Thank you all for watching and if you're interested in similar content, please give me a subscribe, give this video a like and comment what you liked and did not like. Bye!